it's not for everybody quite expensive i'm not for everybody now i get it when people say it's a risky purchase and oh my god i may not like it so it's priscilla have you made a mistake here <laughs> my people my people welcome back to my channel i make videos to help you smell good look good and feel good it's miss prissy baby subscribe i'm hungry hey sister girl welcome back to the channel if you're not already subscribed go ahead and smash that subscribe button and become part of the family in today's video i will be doing a full review of my latest purchase from the house of amani beauty amani Privé. it is blue turquoise if you've already seen my spring summer perfume wish list then you already have a bit of an idea a bit of backstory i had been looking for this perfume everywhere <laughs> The next day. <sighs> Guys, my fragrance has arrived. Stunning. Of my latest purchase from the house of Amani Beauty, Amani Privé, it is blue turquoise. 12 seconds later. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I do my reviews in 5P categories. I'll be talking about the packaging, the performance, the projection, the price, and I'll be finishing it off with my personal thoughts. So if that's something you're interested in, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off with a bit of background about this fragrance, Blue Turquoise is an amber spicy fragrance that was launched in 2018 by Giorgio Armani. The history of this fragrance, according to the website, he states that the perfumer took some inspiration from India. Blue Turquoise is in the same line as Rouge Malachite, Bert Malachite, Blue Lazuli, and then we've got Blue Turquoise. Now, starting off with the packaging of this fragrance, stunning, very peaceful, very minimalistic, very oceanesque, just looks like the water. It is this blue turquoise color i would say and then it looks somehow like it's got some tie and dye effect to it kind of similar to magenta tanzanite but in a blue color it comes in this box in the packaging shares sort of the same pattern with the bottle it slides open like that and then it would open up that way to reveal the fragrance but obviously i've taken out the fragrance i really do like the packaging very simple very luxurious i am a massive fan of this bottle i just know it's not going to be my last fragrance from the Armani Privé line. I have the 50 ml apparently if you purchase the 100 ml it won't come with a gold plaque so the gold plaque on the front only is available on the 50 ml bottle that is it in terms of the packaging i was really really excited about this fragrance because i've heard loads of things about it from sharida m the main accords in this fragrance are woody vanilla salty warm spicy amber earthy balsamic smoky powdery yellow floral the top notes are salt incense black pepper middle notes of ylang ylang cipro oil indian jasmine and base notes of vanilla moss and sandalwood now when i I first smelled this fragrance i'm just going to wear a bit on my palm it is a very different type of fragrance but at the same time it's got a punch to it as soon as i spray it onto skin i immediately could smell it it's a sort of fragrance that you do not need to bring it too close to your nose to smell it it definitely projects it is very 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 different now i get it when people say it's a risky purchase it's definitely a risky purchase but it is one that grows on you when i first smelled it yesterday i wouldn't lie to you i had a bit of concerns i was like oh my goodness priscilla 
have you made a mistake here because all I could just smell was the earthiness I couldn't really smell the vanilla I couldn't really smell the sweetness I couldn't really smell anything else even the salt all I immediately could pick up when I first smelled this was the earthiness I think part of the reasons why I was immediately scared was also because I already had the fear at the back of my mind that oh my god I may not like it I think when I first smelt it it was that rather than actually allowing myself to experience the fragrance just smelling it now it is such a stunning fragrance very different very unique it's not for everybody i'm not for everybody which is number this is for somebody who likes woody fragrances and i'll give you an example if you're the sort of person who likes flora botanica that type of fragrance woody mossy earthy smoky balsamic you will like this fragrance if you like fragrances that smell green if you do not mind being in a florist shop if you do not mind being in a greenery in a conservatory that is the way this fragrance smells to me if you don't mind those type of smells you would like this if you're the sort of person who doesn't like the smell of a florist shop or you don't like the smell of a greenery of a conservatory or a garden center you will not like this and i'm not saying that when you wear this you're going to smell like a garden center no but it, it's kind of that feel okay a lot of people describe this as smelling like the ocean like you're at the beach like summer i wouldn't say that i would say that this is almost as though a beach quickly met the forest what i imagine what i imagine when i smell this fragrance is running in the forest rain is falling and you can just smell the soil when the soil comes up that is what this smells like to me it smells like a forest it smells like rain it's so beautifully blended that it doesn't just smells so foresty there's this sweetness that then comes up it's very lovely very very different very unique and smells very sophisticated so moving on to the performance of this fragrance this is a long lasting fragrance i would say that this fragrance lasts about six hours in my opinion on my skin this is a fragrance that i would tend to wear more on my skin rather than on my clothes yeah, just preference i'd rather wear this on my skin i well i generally tend to there are certain fragrances that i prefer on my skin and there are some fragrances i prefer on my clothes and I think this is one of the fragrances I would prefer on my skin as opposed to my clothes just because it's just so unique that I'll just rather have it on my skin than on my clothes I don't know if I'm ready to commit to my clothes yet for me to wear a fragrance on my clothes is deep <laughs> that means i really 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 am comfortable with that fragrance this is a fragrance that i would also tend to layer like i can totally see myself my vanilla 28 just to make it a bit sweeter than it already is now moving on to the projection i don't even know if i talked about the performance there but yeah this definitely projects i'm able to smell it on myself i have not worn it out yet so i can't say that i have gotten compliments but on myself i can definitely smell it and it's not the sort of fragrance that sits very close to the skin as opposed to magenta Tanzanite, magenta Tanzanite sat closer to the skin. This one has got moving on to the price of this fragrance on the Armani Beauty website, it retails for 180 pounds. You're so expensive, I cannot afford you. So that's the retail price of this fragrance, but there are certain websites where you'll see for 155 pounds even though it was out of stock and that was i think john lewis in my very own different websites and on the armani beauty website if it's your first time purchasing you get 15 percent off it's not the most affordable fragrance it's not mid-range it's definitely on the high side it's not a niche fragrance but it's from the private line of armani beauty it's almost similar to the same prices of this sort of private line fragrances i'm talking about louis vuitton dior talking lancome private line it's in the same price range it's okay for the price not more than i was expecting or less than i was expecting is it worth the price that's a bit of a tricky one for me it's definitely worth the price because i was really really looking for this fragrance so uh, 180 pounds i was very happy to part with that money to get this fragrance into my collection finally to my personal thoughts what do i think about this fragrance first of all i'll just say like every other person has said it is not a blind buy safe fragrance and it's because it's a very very woody earthy fragrance in my opinion um when people say that this is a very summer-esque fragrance i would say this is an all-year-round fragrance because it is smoky 
it's got a bit of smokiness to it i personally cannot smell the salt i don't know i can't pick up on the salt or maybe i just don't know what salt smells like in fragrances so maybe that's why it's a nice fragrance it's a nice to have if you really want something from the armani Privé line I definitely recommend it. I haven't tried many from this lineup. I've only tried Magenta Tanzanite, Rouge Malakai, and Blue Turquoise. Blue Turquoise was a blind buy for me. It was definitely a blind buy win for me because I was already warned that this is not going to be for everybody. So I was expecting, I was expecting what I got. Does it smell like I imagined it to smell? I don't know what I really imagined it to smell like anyways. I don't really think I had an expectation. I just knew that it was not going to be safe and it is not safe i'll give it to this fragrance it smells so 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 sophisticated in my opinion a guy can wear this a lady can wear this it's very very unisex stunning fragrance i can't wait to wear this more i'm going to be wearing this over the next couple of weeks and i might come back and tell you a bit more about what i think of this fragrance but yeah there you have it that is it about blue turquoise from the house of armani Privé. go ahead and let me know have you tried this fragrance are you looking forward to trying this fragrance also go ahead and do all of that good stuff guys like share and subscribe guys please like please share please subscribe and until i see you again in my next video because i look forward to see you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed hi and bye if you're familiar with my channel you in um that's a fragrance it's not a niche fragrance but it's from the private line of the armani beauty it's a background about this fragrance um moving on to <clears throat> the Starting off, starting about this fragrance. Uh, oh. Hey, 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 hey.